Well, sorry for not uploading a video on the past Wednesday. I actually needed to recuperate a little bit. Today, well, I was going to work on the Mercury, the 64 Mercury, but I think I'm going to get the door off on the Cadillac. And I truly do believe this is a 41. I do apologize for listing it as a 46. I was told it's a 46. And all these cars, these sedan net torpedo fastbacks, <coughs> excuse me, look darn near the same thing. But the reason why I truly, truly do believe it's a 41 because there's chrome around the window on each side. 46s don't have that. I found something that's a 42. They have the chrome around the windows, but they also have a chrome strip going down right there. And they say that the VIN is on this side someplace. Uh, somewhere along here on the top by the steering box. But I'm going to have to sand a little and try to find it. As I don't quite see it. They say it's on top by the steering box. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to sand around and get some sandpaper or something. But yeah, on this side, on the top, by the steering box. Yeah. Well... I'll have to look for it here in, in a bit. But today's adventure, well, at least for Sunday, I am going to try to get this door off. I have been spraying it and spraying it with WD-40 in hopes for it to come off. I also have to figure out how to get that bar off because I also need to start stripping this car out and getting it ready for restoration, you know, along with all the other stuff, clean it out. Because I want to see how much rot there is in the bottom here. I also need to price check a metal trimmer and cut the metal back so far and get a gauge tester. And well, actually, I got my gauge tester, but I gotta test the the gauge of the metal and see what I need. And and this door, I'm 100% sure that it's not savable. I'm I'm not going to bother try to fix this. I'm just going to take it off and just keep it to the side. and Because uh, there's a lot more stuff involved with uh, this top of the door than what there is. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my tools and uh, just see what happens in, in all honesty. Yeah. Yeah, I just have to see what happens in general. Might as well take that door off too, but uh, I'll need to start soaking that. But anyhow, I guess I better uh, get this thing off, or try to. Well, this ain't good. These uh, screw bolts that they have on top and bottom, they're stripping, not wanting to come out. I may actually have to cut the hinges. They got hinges online, but uh, yeah, I'm going to have to cut it. So I'm going to start soaking that side with WD-40, but yeah, I kind of figured as much. So I'll have to cut, drill them out, and I think I'll set up a different system for the doors to go on. For the, well, not a different system, my poor choice of words. Um, have a different uh, system for like bolt heads and everything to go in there. So, eh, well, that's just kind of too bad. I'm not surprised. I kind of expected this. So, I'll just have to cut both hinges down right there. I'm pretty sure the structure's good, but, you know, I'll still check it. But up right here, yeah, it'll have to be redone. So, I guess I'm going to string out some stuff. Try the generator and get the saw saw hooked up. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it happens, but already. I guess I better fiddle around with that. And, uh, I guess today is going to be the day to clean this out and, and get the door off. Eh, I mean, it happens, I suppose. 
reading instructions up on this thing i need a grounding rod um i'm only familiar with small generators and the tiny one that i did have broke the bell house well not the bell housing but the housing on it, the the crankshaft um i accidentally dropped it when i was dodging a rattlesnake earlier in the year i dropped it once by accident and the second time was due to a rattlesnake so when Tucker gets home, he'll look at it because he knows that stuff better than I do. So I guess right now I'll just you know, I'll just clean it out. I'll grab a shovel and clean out all the gunk and everything, and and then tomorrow I'll just uh, lop this off. But I need to start soaking that side too. Might try to get that side off, but uh, yeah. There's door hinges online that I found that I can get, and I also found a door already for this, but uh, it'll have to wait a little bit for me to grab it. So, yeah, this will be an interesting video because uh, I didn't expect to need a ground wire for that generator. So I guess I'll just start cleaning this out and see how good the floorboard is. Yeah, here's what it is. So this is what came out of the Cadillac. Um. Still some stuff here and there that uh, kind of found the gunk. Don't know. Well, if I can actually. Don't know what this is exactly for. Um, almost looks like some sort of a footrest. I also noticed too when I pulled this off. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see that clearly, but it still has Cadillac on it. That's from the driver's side. Found a lot of the cab bolts. Um, yeah, she's really dirty. I'm gonna have to get the shop back fixed. At least Tucker can, and then I gotta grab a little uh, garden uh, shovel, at least a little tiny spade, and clean out the rest of that gunk. But that trunk, I can see where the tire once sat. Of course, no indentation there, but pretty much right here is where it sat, and there's still a lot of room for groceries. Uh, I'm not sure what this hole is. Could be a holder for the for the tire. Like some bar that hooks right there and it goes over and, you know, holds it into place. But still can't find hardly information online on, on a lot of these Cadillacs. I ran the VIN number. She's a 41. So I'm going to have to change everything over. She had a V8. Um, A very big V8. Can't remember the size on it. Uh, yeah, it's it's a 41, so I'm gonna have to go through everything and, and mark it down. And, you know, leave a message, everything's like, yeah, you know, you know, mistook this as a 46. Which almost looks like a 46, because of the slant in the back. But, no, what's the... Here, let me close this real fast. This again. Uh-oh. Ah. With, uh, you know, with the chrome around the windows. That's... It's a very, very loud hawk. But with the chrome around the windows, it's definitely 41. And I really feel bad because I messed up the section right here that the chrome holds on. So I'm going to have to make something new. But again, found a lot of the cab mounts. They can pull the cab bolts, excuse me. Um, gosh, there's not much I could really do today until we get the generator going tomorrow. When we get the grounding rod. Um, instead of cutting these, I'm, I'm going to try to drill them out. I think I might have said that already. I'm not sure. I do apologize for repeating myself. Just so much stuff has gone on today. Of course, this side's pretty bad. Obviously, cleaning and sorting and organizing. I still have yet to get the rest of this cleaned out. So, uh... Looks like they had wood back here to support the back seat. Oh, another thing too. The windows on both sides. I do believe that this is electrical window. Because it has the wires going up and around and down. And underneath. So. I'll squirt the panel on this side. If I don't jerk the camera around. Hopefully you can see it. The panel right here. I'll uh, see if I can try to get this off. Or at least something. Well, this side's solid, but. Um, that side, it's like the, um, uh, the 41 Oldsmobile goes up and down only. So, 
and I tried, you know, forcing it without breaking it. So yeah, I do believe that this is electrical back windows, which is very interesting. Um, all I can say is if anyone has any information on these 41 Cadillacs, on these uh, sedan nets, these, you know, torpedo body fastbacks, post it down in the comment section because I can need all the help. I need all the help I can get because uh, I know nothing about these cars. You can look online and they have this and this and this, but someone through the grapevine might know something about these old Cadillacs. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do for today. And then leave tomorrow's issues to tomorrow me. Um, oh, the VIN number I found on top of the gearbox. It wasn't on the frame. It was on top of the gearbox, the actual gearbox. <coughs> Excuse me. I guess this had two VINs. One on the gearbox and one on the engine. Of course, obviously, it's <laughs> it's long gone. Whatever, how many years ago that someone took it. So, but kind of wonder if I can, you know, run the VIN number. I might find the the engine out there. But again, you never know. You just never know because Cadillac engines, when someone puts it down to something, you know, they kind of leave it at that. So, um, I'll gauge test the metal. To, well actually not tomorrow today and then check on metal tomorrow there we go so yeah, that's pretty much everything so yeah she's she's a 1941 everybody i again i do apologize a lot of us thought it was a 46 and because you know it looks like a 46 but nope 41 and 42 were the only years that had the chrome around the windows 46 did not Object for today is to try and drill out these screw heads so I can get the door off. If all else fails, chop them off at the hinges since I can find other hinges online. So, uh, so I just have to see what happens in all honesty. This thing should be big enough. Yeah, it should be. So I'm going to start drilling, see what happens. If nothing happens, then I'm chopping off the hinges. Yeah. If it has to be done, it has to be done. I want to get this door off, and so that way I can start restructuring everything right here. Hopefully now, next month. Because uh, we went all around town today to try and find a grounding rod for the generator. No one has one, so... Well, I guess I'll start working and see what happens, and here comes the rain. Hmm. I didn't have to cut anything, just drilled. Had to sharpen that bit twice, but I got it done. The top part, um, I'll still try to dig those out right here, so that way I can get a pattern going. Uh, I'll have to take out the dash. I'll have to figure out how, how that comes out. Uh, looks like this is an outer skin right here, so that'll make things a little bit more interesting. I'll kind of, you know, cut it right here carefully, form something, and figure out how this is right here. Uh, looks like someone might have already welded it. It might have come apart at one point in time, because you can see some old grind spots right here, because that's not factory. So someone already tried fixed that in the past. So I'll skin that. Uh, I'll reform this spot right here and do all of this right here around the window. Leave a flat spot here, at least kind of the curve on that side, and then make the pattern, flip it, and build it on this side. I think I may have to come down, looks like to about right here, get rid of a lot of this rot, and then just kind of take it off. But yeah, let's go windows in the back. I don't know about the front yet. Um, I gotta be careful about this because I want to save this panel right here. But yeah, she's a 41, everybody. So my apologies for thinking it's a 46. We all thought it was a 46 until it was a 46. But carefully set this down. Um, I'll take off the panel sometime and see if there's any electrical guts to see if this is front electrical windows as well. I know some of these Cadillacs had them, but not all of them. But it has electrical windows in the back. So, 
I can touch the top hinge because this one's I'm pretty sure I could probably redo that one if not then there's other ones online but in all reality I'm gonna get a new door because when I was looking at this one more and more you know how I was talking about you know doing the you know the top this entire door is actually just no good uh, it's kind of warped and wobbled right here it's not structurally sound a lot of stuff right there is just just not good especially when it was sitting in that creek whatever it was you know on this side upside down so I'll still keep this back I'll take some stuff off of it things that I can and uh, go from there I was wanting to do the driver's side door but uh, yeah I'll leave that for another day because it's past 5 p.m. now and ran out of time to do things so I guess the next step is to uh, just take off the dashboard take off everything I'm so happy this has flat glass everywhere but I think the back window might be lightly curved yep it's lightly curved so this is the only one that I'll probably have an issue on finding so but it is what it is oh i just realized i got a bullet hole there too is this yep i want the entire new piece that's too bad but i'll have to take that off so i guess i don't have to worry about screwing that up because the entire piece is no good well i'll probably keep that back and honestly see if i actually can fix that so i'm still learning how to fix some chrome pieces with holes in them so I guess that's everything in a nutshell. And I'll leave stuff from to go from there. Sorry that there wasn't much done on the on this car. Ran out of time and tried to find a you know a, a ground rod for the new generator, but no one has them in town, so it's already. Please consideration of liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Be deeply appreciated for support. We're after subscribers, no money of any way, shape, or form of donations. Shop will be coming next year in March or April. Me and Tucker have that planned out and see where how things go by then. If prices keep going up and everything, then the shop will wait a little bit longer. So y'all have a good night. Take care and stay safe. See you later. And thanks again for the support.